it's of YouTube. ZBB sit here. And yeah, this is my old room. Staying here for a while. Get some shit together, you know, it's all good. Got the like congrats me on the freaking sub here. Got an Orion XTR. It's fucking sick. Four ohm voice coil. Let's see if it'll focus. Focus, damn it. <clears throat> Try the other sub. Yeah, I have two of them. Do look. Two Orion XTRs. The surround on this is good. It's not focusing. But yeah, um, if you look them up, there's this one like link on Google when I typed it in. They are Orion XTR Series 2 or something like that. I think they go by Series instead of Stage 2. But they're all kind of same thing, but just look those up. They're fucking sick. Like, single voice coil. 800 RMS. These are SPL competition subwoofers. Mm. I'll show you the box too after, after I get it. I'm just getting this round repaired because when I got these the guy didn't tell me that the surround on it was repaired by him like look at that shit I do not know what kind of like rubber glue he used like this like thick glue that would just harden up after and then like look it does that everywhere like he did that every like couple spots it's Thought he was gonna make it stronger so it wouldn't break, and then kind of looks like he just coated it all over. Like the surround on this is ugly. It's, it's hard. Not not like this one. The surround on this one. It's like how it's supposed to be. Well, there's my girlfriend. I'm gonna get ready and head out. I'll show you this after I come back after it's repaired. Yeah. Give it two thumbs up. Show the other one. For the subs. 800 RMS. Single voice coil. Believe it or not. Yeah. What's up guys? I'm back. From a week. It took a week. Because I got the tensile leads changed. I showed you. Like you could see it in the dark now. They're silver tensile leads. I don't know what they're made of. He didn't tell me. He just repaired them. Because I showed you in the beginning of this. When I said I was going to get it repaired. Because I showed you. Like this isn't the other sub. This one. Kind of looks different than the other ones. This one's repainted. But yeah, this guy was really shocked about this sub when I brought it in. I'm like, I was shocked when I got them. Like, holy shit. Like, hey man, I'm on a low budget audio like deal here. I don't got like freaking two grand in the pocket all the time just to go out and get it get one sub you're not gonna believe how much I got these two bad boys for and the box 
Damn. Okay, here it is. There is the beast. Like, look at these big ass ports, man. It's my hand. Obcon sub base triangle circle. The other Orion XTR10 is already in there, but black can't see shit. We can see my fingers where the sub is supposed to go. See the port. But yeah, this guy's telling me stuff about it. It's, the surround is actually sewn, even though it's old school. The surround is sewn to take high excursion. But the dumbass I got them off put his own rubber adhesive glue on them. And it, like, these are supposed to be soft. They can be really hard, but they're still like foam rubber. And when when it turns into like plastic when you try and repair it yourself, it's just gonna get fucked up. Like I went with duct tape for a little while, like I seen people do that, they just go a little bit onto the cone and basically on the edge here. And that acted like a surround. That's like kind of like emergency thing, like last minute thing, like the cut that's what I'm gonna use. That's tight that he repainted it with cloth paint. He hand sewed himself, like that's what he's saying on the old surround. Like before it was turned into plastic shit. Why it was going like this? It's cause it was sewn. But when he put the rubber adhesive on it, this guy was like, oh, I don't know what this person used that you got it off because I told him all about it. It's like whatever he used, it was like just gunk, man. Just It ruined that old surround because you're supposed to be able to touch the surround and shit like that, you know? But I wouldn't really mind if you painted the whole thing and it's just a black subwoofer because I still have proof that it's an Orion XTR 10. And I kept trying to like Google and YouTube this shit. It's not a Series 2. It doesn't have the Series 2 in the dust cap. It doesn't say Series 2 in the back. Because I looked up Series 2 and it's... They become dual voice call and they cut down the power. It's kind of just like a daily sub or it's 500 RMS dual voice call. And this one's a single voice call at 800 RMS. Like I already kind of explained that in the first part of this this clip. Whoa, getting some woofer point on here. Whoa. Calm down. Not right now. Put you in the box later. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, this guy was like kind of low excited, stunned, like whoa, and like I've never repaired this up with the uh, floral fluoride. Can't really remember the double F word. Uh, just comment if my mistake of trying to say that word that's in here the cooling system for it It's fucking sick But you guys never gonna believe the price on that damn big ass box 1600 RMS together Now I just need a big ass Amplifier like there's a Orion 3700D that does 1500 RMS at 4 ohms and that's just perfect for these two just 4 ohms in each one but if I have to like if only has one input because it's a mono block um just have it run at 2 ohms I'd give it a little bit more power but I'm good with the master P1000 at 2 ohms Cause when I got a demo of this, holy shit. 
like damn when I first start looking at this and I took out the box I was like damn this this sub is fucked now just feeling it he said he centered it back up cause after trying to play it he said I was lucky that I didn't keep using it as a a sub with a fucked up surround cause if he said if I did it'd start going off balance and it'd probably just pop out at some point cause it's not getting held back anymore like I wasn't gonna rely on duct tape forever but he he said he's surprised that this little thing packs a punch cause it has a small motor it has a really good spider and this basket's pretty basic. And he fixed up the um like the leads on them where I hook up the wire for the box. Like they used to move. But I kinda think he redone it. Like look there's it's kinda dark, it's you can kind of see that hole right there. I'm not sure if he moved it. But it's re-punched back in. Like he put some new ones on there. I kind of think he put new ones on there. Sorry that this video is... The second part's long. And the first part's only like... Two, three minutes. Yeah, he really fixed this up. Yeah, you could see some glue that leaked in because he really want This guy's glue is the shit. Literally, it's the shit. His glue is... It's not like what you get from a kit. He got this from some guy that made it up himself. And then this guy that got that glue off of him added a little something of him. Like, added a little... Some other kind of like chemical, so it works even better. Cause it said, as soon as you like touch it, it's like super glue, but it's like you could still move your fingers. It's like really gooey, but yeah, it'll still hold as strong as super glue. But it's not easy to move after it's been sitting there for a while. Well, yeah, give fucking thumbs up for a good repair on this guy. And like, look, you can already see the sewn surround. It's like, I don't think it's possible if you put a bigger surround on it, like today's kind of surround, where you have to, you have to like, actually sew into the cone. But I still like it. It's fucking... 1600 RMS. Oh. Continue on this, or maybe I should send it right now because it's, it's already going on 10 minutes. The other part's already two, three minutes long. So, I think I'm gonna go with this. Like, I had to give you guys a really good look, good review on my point of view on the Beast over on XTRs. Damn. That's the first part. Uh, wait for the second part. I'm going to give you guys a demo. And that one won't be that long. It'll just be like the other car demos that I have. Just this one's going to be in my room. And then probably show you guys like if something in the walls are shaking. If something else is shaking, maybe the door. But yeah, if you guys enjoy my video, if you guys watch it to the end. Give it a thumbs up, because they're really appreciated. Like, how come going on to 50 subscribers? Like, I know that's not a lot, but that's a pretty big deal for me. Like, I've never had that much people just want to just watch and see where I'm going to go with car audio, you know? Like, I want to get up there, like... Like, Chris Turgis 94, Casper Scavs, fucking CXM Audio... Like A Tone on Bravo, Exo Control to Exo, big deal. 
from my um, Jonathan Price. Like, those guys are the shit. Like, all you guys are pretty dope on what you guys do. Like, I'm just spitballing on top of my head. I'm not actually looking at a list. Just, I kind of watch you guys' videos daily. Just on old stuff, new stuff. But, like, I know I was supposed to go with massive audio. I know, kind of just extending the ending, but, um, after I got these 800 RMS, I know I'm not going to get another sub like this. If I went with massive audio, I'd probably get like 500 RMS, but I'm going to stick with these for a long time. I'm not going to trade these up. I'm not going to sell them. They keep going. They keep going. I could put a recon kit in this. Keep that floral fluoride or whatever the fuck it's called in it. Keep that cooling system in there, or get an upgraded cooling system. But yeah, um, subscribe, come base a bro today, and get this beast in its box. Can't wait to see what it does. I think I might get a car. Cause I don't have no more truck box. And I got two tans in that beast box. Yeah, it's the longest video. But yeah, this is ZBA Beast. Peace.